The king returns home from the hunt. Suddenly, he sees that right in the royal courtyard, some insolent fellow rode in the snow the king is a moron with his urine. Enraged, the king shouts, Merlin, come here this instant. At once, the court wizard appears. Merlin, says the king. At once, find out who did this. Merlin pulls out his staff, casts a few spells, lights up a candle to divine in the flame. Your majesty, he says. The urine on the snow belongs to Albert, your first minister. Excellent work, Merlin, the king turns toward his guards. You four, arrest the first minister at once. And the queen, too. Excuse me, your majesty, Merlin says. But why the queen? I recognize her handwriting. A king had ten wild dogs. He used them to torture and kill any minister that misguided him. A minister once gave an opinion which was wrong and which the king didn't like at all. So he ordered that the minister to be thrown to the dogs. The minister said, I served you loyally ten years and you do this? The king was unrelenting. Minister pleaded please give me ten days before you throw me to the dogs the king agreed. In those ten days the minister went to the keeper of the dogs and told him he wanted to serve the dogs for the next ten days. The guard was baffled, but he agreed, so the minister started feeding the dogs, caring for them, washing them, providing all sorts of comfort for them. So when the ten days were up, the king ordered that the minister be thrown to the dogs as sentenced. When he was thrown in, everyone was amazed at what they saw. The dogs were wagging their tails playing with the condemned minister, licking his feet. The king was baffled at what he saw. What happened to the dogs? He growled. The minister then said, I served the dogs for only ten days and they didn't forget my service. Yet I served you for ten years and you forgot all at the first mistake. The king realized his mistake and replaced the dogs with crocodiles.